here we are going to discuss about uh, one of the very important topic of the gross anatomy of lower limb which is lumbar plexus so as you can see in this picture very clearly that the lumbar plexus is formed within the psoas major muscle by union of ventral ramus of l1 to l3 and also the larger upper part of ventral ramus of l4 nerve so the larger upper part of the ventral ramus of the l4 nerve taking part in the formation of the lumbar plexus but the lower smaller part of the l4 nerve what you can see over here of the ventral ramus of the l4 joins with the ventral rami or the ventral ramus of the l5 nerve mainly to form lumbosacral trunk which takes part in the formation of sacral plexus so this is how you can see the formation of lumbar plexus is taking place within the psoas major muscle now we shall discuss about various branches which are given off by the lumbar plexus so as you can see one by one over here the ventral ramus of the l1 also receives some of the fibers mainly from the t12 so ventral ramus of the l1 also receives some fibers from the last thoracic nerve called as t12 so here what happens is the ventral ramus of the l1 you can see very clearly over here is divided into the larger upper part as well as the smaller lower part we can say it has larger upper branch and also smaller lower branch as you can see the larger upper branch of the l1 the larger upper branch of the l1 gives rise to two important nerves over here one is called as iliohypogastric nerve and second one is called as ilioinguinal nerve let me repeat once again l1 is divided into two branches larger upper part or upper branch and the smaller lower branch the larger upper branch or the upper division of the l1 gives rise to two important nerves one is the iliohypogastric and second one is the ilioinguinal and when we talk about the second nerve which is a smaller lower branch of the l1 as you can see very clearly over here the smaller lower branch of the l1 over here joins with the branch from l2 nerve and forms genito femoral nerve so this is how the genito femoral nerve formed by the lumbar plexus as we can see very clearly over here the nerve roots that is l2 l3 as well as l4 nerves divide into dorsal which is posterior branch and ventral which is anterior branch or we can say dorsal division as well as ventral division dorsal division is depicted in blue as well as the ventral division in orange so here dorsal divisions of l2 as well as l3 divide further into two branches so branches from the dorsal division of l2 and l3 unite to form the lateral cutaneous nerve and the dorsal divisions of l2 l3 as well as l4 unite to form femoral nerve but the ventral divisions of l2 l3 and l4 unite to form obturator nerve and sometimes the ventral branches of l3 as well as l4 divide and join to form accessory obturator nerve but it is not present in all the individuals so the best way to remember all the branches which are arising from the lumbar plexus is by the mnemonic i square golf i square means we have like two nerves starting with the alphabet i one is the iliohypogastric and second one is the ilioinguinal nerve both have the root value of l1 and in the golf g stands for genito femoral nerve with the root value of l1 as well as l2 mainly from the ventral divisions and uh, L is the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve with the root value of L2 as well as L3 but mainly from the dorsal divisions and third one is the obturator nerve which is mainly arising from the ventral divisions of uh, L2 L3 as well as L4 so O stands for obturator nerve and F stands for femoral nerve with the root value of L2 L3 as well as L4 
mainly by means of dorsal divisions and at last is the accessory obturator now as uh, it is occasionally seen but it shares the root value of L3 as well as L4 but mainly from the ventral divisions. Now let us discuss in detail about uh, the individual nerves which are arising from lumbar plexus. So the first one is the iliohypogastric nerve what you can see over here. So this iliohypogastric nerve emerges beneath the lateral border of the psoas major muscle passes downwards laterally in front of the quadratus lamborum. At the lateral border of the quadratus lamborum it pierces upper neurotic origin of the transverse abdominus just above the iliac crest and runs into the anterior abdominal wall. And what about the innervation of the iliohypogastric nerve? Cutaneous innervation is mainly to the skin of the gluteal region and anterior abdominal wall where is in the hypogastric region. And the second one is the ilioinguinal nerve. Its course is also same as iliohypogastric nerve but at a slightly lower level. It pierces the transverse abdominus close to the anterior part of the iliac crest. And what about the innervation? The motor innervation is mainly to the internal oblique muscle, transversus abdominus muscle and sensory innervation is mainly to the skin on the upper medial aspect of the thigh, root of the penis as well as scrotum in males and mons pubis as well as labia majora in females. And the next one is the genitofemoral nerve. The genitofemoral nerve passes forwards through the psoas piercing it and runs on the anterior surface of the psoas. Above the inguinal ligament, genitofemoral nerve divides into genital as well as femoral branches. So the femoral branch enters the femoral sheet and pierces the anterior wall of the sheet but the genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve enters the deep inguinal ring and travels through the inguinal canal along the spermatic cord in males as well as round ligament of the uterus in females. And what about the innervation? The femoral branch of the genitofemoral nerve has cutaneous innervation mainly to the skin over the femoral triangle. But the genital branch supplies cremaster muscle, scrotal skin in males and skin of mons pubis as well as labia majus in females. So this is what is about genitofemoral nerve. And next one is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. It is also called as the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. So the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve what you can see over here as it emerges beneath the lateral border of the psoas major above the iliac crest and runs laterally in front of the iliacus muscle. It enters the thigh by passing beneath and lateral end of the inguinal ligament where it gives innervation that is cutaneous innervation to the upper lateral aspect of the thigh. Next is about the femoral nerve. Femoral nerve emerges beneath the lateral border of the psoas major below the iliac crust. It enters the anterior compartment of the thigh by passing deep to the inguinal ligament and anyway we will be discussing later as a separate topic in detail. And next is the obturator nerve. Obturator nerve also emerges beneath the medial border of the psoas major and runs it downwards and forward along the lateral wall of the true pelvis and enters the thigh by passing through the obturator canal and even this we will be discussing in detail as a separate topic. And last one is the accessory obturator nerve. If present because in majority of the individuals it is not seen but if present it runs along the medial border of the psoas major and enter thigh that is what is about uh, the accessory obturator nerve and it mainly gives innervation to the pectineous muscle and 